Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is an M53 M55. It's the tier 9 American SBG and we're located on the south spawn of Overlord. Now the name of the commander is Provo Bob and he's about to be team killed by a Batchat 12 ton a little way over there. I'm bringing up the, uh, the highlights. You can't see that 12 ton just yet but he is off there. Let's go. And his Dark Sider 267 is about to team kill his own arty right at the start of the game. Here he comes, coming over to kill his arty with absolutely no justification whatsoever. Fires one round in, two, three, re and he's turned blue immediately. And it appears that he stopped. Now it could be that he has been banned. And in fact now he is being killed by other members of his team for doing that. I think he was actually banned because it was three shots that he fired in to deliberately team kill. So a rather stupid player, Dark Sider. And he's been wiped out by the 252 for doing what he did. And now the team are down two tanks right at the start of a battle which is going to make it very, very difficult for them to win. Now I'm going to speed up the battle so you can actually see what actually happened. There are three tanks down. Two tanks down now. One tank down. They've managed to break even. They're now ahead by one tank. They're ahead by two tanks. Three tanks. Four tanks. So it does look as if they're going to win this game. Now there's six tanks up. So it looks, looks as if the other players on the team were just so good that even with a two tank deficit they were able to win this game. There's only one left to kill and he's now been killed. So there you have it. We have a, a, a battle where um, the RT was team killed right at the start of the battle without absolutely no provocation, no reason for it whatsoever. The Bachatillion came out of, it, out of his way to come over to kill the arty, uh, and as soon as he'd done that, was immediately banned by the friendly fire system. Uh, so obviously Wargaming would say yes, that uh, he has been punished. He was banned for an hour, and he received less credits because he was uh, banned. Um, but of course I would say and argue that uh, Provo Bob was denied the opportunity to gain any reward from this battle whilst his teammates managed to uh, make a lot in the way of uh, credits uh, all he did was uh, uh, get the bare minimum uh, he received uh, 12,108 credits from the battle 20,640 compensation brought up 32,748 and after deduction of uh, the repair he had 18,988 left over um, and uh, so he did have a, a profit in the way of credits, but he only received uh, 584 XP uh, plus a personal reserves bonus. So he only took away 1,168. He was denied the opportunity to make any serious uh, reward in the way of experience from that battle. Um, and really, it's time for Wargaming to actually institute a... Um, uh, a means by which they compensate the victims of team killing by rewarding them or giving to them all the gold and all the credits held by the prov 
prov provocateur, the, the, the person who caused the uh, team killing, so that uh, that uh, uh, person, that victim, can at least benefit uh, from the actions of the um, perpetrator of the offence. It is definitely against the rules of, uh, of wargaming, uh, or against the, the rules of World of Tanks for them to team kill. And the friendly fire system does not take into account those people who are the victim of barrel blocking or anything like that. In this instance, it did punish the person who did the team killing, but it wouldn't do the same for somebody who barrel blocked. So therefore, we're asking Wargaming to punish these people properly, transfer all the gold and credits over to the victim of the offence uh, so that they are properly compensated. So uh, Wargaming, it's up to you now.